afternoon. The woman wanted for a deadly crash in Norfolk is now in custody. Dominique Goodwin is charged with involuntary manslaughter. She's accused of causing this wreck inside the downtown tunnel just days after Christmas. One person died. And Sarah Hammond joins us in the studio with details. Sarah. Well, Dominique Goodwin turned herself in to Norfolk police around 1045 this morning, about three weeks after that wreck. And police had a warrant out for her arrest after they say she was driving the wrong way in the downtown tunnel and crashed, ultimately killing Shelby Riddick Walker, better known to her friends and family as Lexus. Friends and family have made it clear Lexus Walker was a bright light in the community. She respected others more than they respected her. That is love. She saw the God in everyone. She was an advocate for the LGBTQ plus community and a beloved performer and bartender at 37th and Zen. She loved drag. She loved bartending. She's opened up so many doors for me, gave me the confidence to learn how to be myself. Now the woman accused of driving the wrong way in the downtown tunnel and crashing into Walker on December 30th is behind bars. Virginia State Police say 27-year-old Dominique Goodwin was suspected of driving while drunk when she hit and killed Walker. A spokesperson for VSP says Goodwin ultimately turned herself in three weeks later. Part of it is a relief that Dominique did what was right by turning herself in. The part that still hurts is my best friend is still gone. Albert Jackson called Walker his best friend. The two performed together at 37th and Zen in Norfolk. Lex and I learned we love everybody for who they are. We're going to love you unconditionally. But he says if there's one thing he hopes people take away from the accident itself, it's this. If you're going to drink, don't drive. Goodwin is scheduled to appear in court Tuesday morning for the first time, and Jackson says he hopes justice is served. I, I pray and instill in Dominique. Pray for forgiveness. Pray for clarity. But understand that there are consequences that come from your actions. Brendan Mulligan, general manager of 37th and Zen, told me over the phone he is thankful Goodwin turned herself in. However, he says he's frustrated by how long it took to get her in custody if VSP knew who they were looking for. He says he wonders how long it would have taken had she not surrendered to police herself. Back to you. Goodwin suffered serious injuries in that crash. Because of that, she spent time in the hospital, but doctors released Goodwin before troopers could serve a warrant for her arrest.